Hello guys, today we have the RNR main wheel A320 A321 Airbus. First, you see the CBs. We pull the CBs for the brake fan and brake fan control, tire pressure. Then we go and check the tire, tire condition. Now we check the tire, any sport, anything. This one, nothing. Maybe after jack, we can see when we move the tire. And then we put the gear pins, main landing gear pin, gear pin. Now this one is a jack. First we open the jack extension. This one easily removed. Then we put the jack inside. After the depressurize, easily we can remove the jack from mirror jack point. Now we put the jack and pressurize with nitrogen. So you can see the jack point of the aircraft in the mid of both tires. Now this one going up. Now you can see that this one flat sports. This one is a worn out three sports means this one need to change. Now this one you have one inch up to ground easily move. Now we opening the brake fan cover. Brake fan cover. This one is a skewers none washers like we screw them. Now brake fan cover is open. Now we remove the brake fan here. You see brake fan. Now we remove the brake fan. Now brake fan is removed. You can see there is the brake fan to back cover. Now we remove brake brake fan back cover and sensor connection. Now we are removing the sensor connection. This one sensor for the type pressure indication. So we remove this one first. Then we remove brake fan cover. Now we open the short column. Short holder clamp. This one is a hold the shroud. Shroud assembly. Hold the brake fan cover. Brake fan cover. Now you can see how shroud holder is open. This one is a shroud holder. Shroud holder clamp. Brake fan. Brake fan cover. Now we open the scouring nuts for the. <clears throat> securing the cutter pins for excel lock first we remove cutter pin then we open the securing nut of excel lock now we opening after the securing nut open we open the excel lock with top wrench we remove the sensors this one sensor attached with the tire and also we use the for the deflate of tire we remove the sensor now is a remove no is a pressure deflate nitrogen side Now we open the axle nut with torque wrench. Now is a open axle nut. You can see this one is a axle nut. Now we put the thread protector for moving the tire. This one no tire is removed now we put the new tire sorry for the i cannot show you the tire old one how to remove because we are two guys so we change the tire so i cannot make the video it is very easy just pull and for new tire install just push we align the brakes and then push class new tire is installed now we remove the thread protector you can see new tire is installed now we put the axle net bit by hand then we give the torque we set the torque range first zero then we give tight bit by hand and moving the tire now we give the torque this one torque initially 220 and final 120 now is that okay now we put the axle nut securing nuts this one securing that we put next lock. Now 
After the close by this nut, we put the cotter pins. Now you can see we put cotter pin. Now cotter pin is bended. You can see the cut of it. Now we put the shroud holder. Just align with the other accessory. Now we put the shroud holder clamp. Now we connect the connection of the type pressure indication sensor. First we connect inside. This one A320, A321, A318 almost same all tires. And A330 is also almost same nothing different same brake fan sensor uh, brake fan cover shout holder shout clamp and brake fan cover same a 30 also you can see when well, we put the brake fan back cover now we install the brake fan and sensor now we installing the sensors type pressure sensor this one is connect then also this one have securing nut put the nut then put the quarter pin it's simple and very easy now we put the nut now we checking the leak with the leak detector any leak from the sensor you need to must be check maybe this one have a leak so you press it to play so we just big problem so you must be checked this one is a not is close after the close we put the quarter pin Install quarter pin. And quarter pin must be one side up and the other side is round. Then again check leak any leak. Yeah, it's good. Now we install the brake fan accessory. No brake fan is installed. You have one inside washer, so we can use the screwdriver for the washer align. Now we put the brake fan nut. Now we tighten the nut of the brake fan. After this one, we secure with locking wire. Now is a how to locking wire. As you can see. It will and measure with the hole where you want to put again this is only the locking wire implied it's just for locking wire one thread now you can see Thank you.
there. It's very simple, not is a difficult. Just for you, I make long video from there. How to you can see locking wire because mostly guys thinking this one is a very difficult, but it's very easy. Just no bend it. Yeah. It's for just safety. Now almost tight is the finish. Now we just put the brake fan cover and tighten the nuts of the brake fan cover. Brake fan cover is installed. And also this one tight pressure is a 220, 210. But some aircraft have difference, say 321, I think 220, and uh, FP20 is a Neo, this one have 200, some have a 209, is a different only. No, is a tire is finished, new tire is installed, and after the finish that tire, we check the mostly around anything, any tools. First, we check it. Before after this we jacked on so it must be checked that downside of the tire sides any tool any pin any notch bolts near the tire we can remove it before and then you can see still gear pin is installed after the jack down we remove the gear pin and do the again check walk around no jack is going down we remove the jack now we do walk around and check the gap pin. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe the channel for more updates. Thanks. This one aviator train.